All right, just knocking out my daily crafting. Just hit 82. Got about one more hour of this to go. We can finally make the Berserker Necklace without a boost, but that's not useful to me right now. So I uh, will see you guys at the next level. All right, and there we go. We have done the hard from Nick Diaries. I don't know which lamp switch I'm just going to use them. That's the little one. That's the big one. And this is the medium one. All right. Um, that's not the big deal. The big deal is being able to use a shortcut. Uh, so let's get back to the crafting grind <clears throat> with better farm runs in between now. I wasn't really expecting a level. I'm just watching this scuffed DMM tournament where the guy just like vanished out of the out of the match. So um, that's another level. Two more to go is what I'm going to aim for. Probably not going to get it done tonight. Probably going to finish it up tomorrow. But then we need one magic level. And then we can boost to make a fury. So that's where we're going. There is 84 crafting. Um, this is a pretty big deal because we can actually boost to make the Ring of Suffering now. I don't have anywhere near the magic level to make it. But 89 is a level required. One more level to make the um, Amulet of Fury, which I can make, I think I can boost to make it in one level here. Let me see. Level 6 Enchant. Just need 82. I'm 81. Pretty close. Um, I'm going to bed. It is not 3.30 in the morning. It is actually just um, 18 minutes past midnight. So tomorrow, do some more questing. Work on 78 Herblore. And then do nothing but Slayer until you get to Zora. So there's a game plan. Let's go. I mean, this is it. 35 hours or so of in-game time. It's complete. We can now boost to make the fury. We can make the suffering. We can do it. I need... A lot of chaos runes we're gonna go do a bunch of borrows to farm those up but once we do that we'll make the fury and then we'll train magic on slayer as often as we can to make the zenite and we just finished selling all the lantern lenses i had already sold a bunch of them before right when i could make the fury so this is just from that um 133k it's a very small dent in the three mil that you need per onyx but hey it's something i guess I've had a hard clue sitting in my bank for, I don't know, a couple days now, so I figure I might as well just get it out of the way. I'm going to have a medium casket after this, so I'm going to go do that medium clue. But um, if you don't know, I'm missing any piece of god d high top, bottom, or boots, so let's hope to pick up one of those, maybe? Oh, that's a really good boot to pick up, too. Um, ah, that's... couldn't have asked for better. Medium clue casket. Once again, what are we picking up today? A master clue and an armor page. Um, armor page is really good. I might. I don't think I have any other pages except for that one. Uh, we can give the master a shot. I hate doing master clues so much. They're actually the worst. Where is this clue at? We can do it. Well, that level went really fast. Um, ZMI is pretty good XP. This early rune crafting really isn't too bad XP per hour, and it goes pretty quick. So this should only take about four or five hours to do. Um, this goal is going to do the Lumbridge Medium Diaries. I might go all the way to 60 if I have enough pure essence for it. That'll allow me to do um, the already hard diaries as well. Getting both those hard diaries will be like 50k-ish. Um, 50k-ish herbal or XP. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I have enough pure essence or not. I should be able to get to 59 pretty easy, but after that, not quite sure. So, um, I will see you guys at the next level. There is level 53 rune crafting. Um, I think I'm going to um, reset my tracker, keep track for this next level, just to see how much XP I'm getting on average per rune essence, so I can kind of gauge if I'm going to need any more essence or anything like that. So, um, let's reset the tracker and let's see how much XP we get. And there we have 54 runecrafting. We can now make our own laws, which we're never going to do because that's a waste of time. Um, let's see. We got a bunch of astral runes from doing this. Okay, so if we go into our XP here, I'm going to do some math. I'll get right back to you. 
also um, nailing thir a little bit over 32k an hour here, so that's not, that's not too bad at all. Um, ZMI is definitely the way to go if you have access to stamina potions, which I understand is a pretty steep requirement for room crafting and for Ironman in general, but highly recommend. Alright, so we started with 7,416, and we used pretty much exactly 1,000, 4, 1, 3, 1,003, so we have 1,003, we got 13,600-ish, that's incorrect. Divided by 1,003. Getting 13.5 essence. Let's just multiply that by 6413. So this is roughly 87,000 experience. Uh, let's see how much it takes for us to get the level. I think I have to get XP for this to update. I set my level to 59. That's what I need for the diary. If I get to 60, I can um, boost to make death runes. I don't know if I I don't know if 65 is a requirement for when he's on part two. I'll have to look into it. But uh, let's see if we have enough essence to get the level. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna need somewhere around 50, or um, I'm sorry, 96,000 runecrafting experience, which I'm about 1,200 or 12,000 short for XP. Uh, it's probably gonna be about another 1,000 pure essence, which the requirement for 59 runecrafting is boostable. It's just one of those that's annoyingly boostable. Like you'd have to like drop essence or die, and um, it, it's just not ideal. So I think I might just boost for it for four levels. You'd need a plus four boost. I don't know what this person's doing out there. I don't know what's out there. Get a plus four boost, and I think that might make it a bit easier. So I'm gonna get one more level here, and then I will come back when I have enough pure essence to get all the way to 60. I think that's the way to go. All right, with this click, 55 rune crafting that's not really a big deal but now we can have plus four boost to make double cosmics that's what the diary is so we're gonna go knock that out real quick and do the lumber tar diaries for the unlimited teleports to the cabbage patch all right and there we have 69 cooking just cooking up some of the random fish I had in the bank I had like a random amount of lobsters and swordfish so I'm just cooking that up then I'm gonna cook my karamb ones and then probably gonna get ready to go do those diaries and then we're gonna do barrows <clears throat> so gonna be lit fam yeet here we have 7d cooking um admiral pie not a big deal uh almost done cooking these karamb ones so i'm just finishing up some afk skills might go check out some herbal or see what we, um, we got to do there maybe make the potions get some secondaries whatever else so all right we got the boost we got 30 seconds and we also have one entire other level um, it was the very first do, so I wasn't even recording, but there is the hard diary task. We can go do the rest of it now pretty easy, so let's go knock it. Alright, with killing that zombie, we've now done all the easy diaries. We're gonna go um, pickpocket the guy, and that should be it for the mediums. Alright, here's a pickpocket. Alright, there's all the mediums. Now I gotta go do the Dorgishin quest for the hard diaries, and then we'll have a nice new ring. All right, we have successfully pickpocketed all the ham equipment that we're gonna need. Um, got some nice opals and jades. Need to make some um, expeditious bracelets and um, all the other jewelry you can make out. I forget what jades are, but I believe it's useful. Maybe it's like necklace of passage. I'm not sure, but it'll all be helpful. Now we got those sets, we can go start death of the Dorgishin, and I think the hard part's over. All right, there is the first Dorgish Khan quest completed for the uh, Lumbridge Hard Diaries. All right, first chest of the Chaos Rune Grind. No Chaos Runes, it's a bad chest. All right, second chest. Got some chaos. Uh, fourth is chest of the... De oh, 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 that's a good chest. All right, another chest. All right, another chest. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, holy crap. That's not very good. All right, Heart Blue Casket. Alcables all over. Feels good. That means chaos. Scotizo kill. Three plate skirts. That's really good. 
Hard clue casket. What is that? Okay. Hey, 79 Slayer. We get absolutely nothing, but we got 79 Slayer. All right, so I just finished a Black Demon Slayer task. During that task, I got an HP level and a defense level, pushing my combat to over 100, which means I can now do the Western Providence Diaries, and I can also do the Karamja Diary. So I'm going to get my first task from Duradel to do that diary, and then we're going to go finish off the Karamja. I do have enough Chaos Runes to finally buy the Onyx, and then we're going to boost for a Fury. All right, my first task from Duradel is Calphites. Which, I'm actually going to go try to do some Calphite Queen. It's really late at night, so it's only 3 in the morning, so maybe I might be able to sneak in some kills before people start crashing me. Alright, second Calphite kill. That is jank. Alright, we just, since we hit 100 combat, we just completed the Karamja um, Hard Diaries. So, I'm just going to use up all these lamps. I don't know which order they gave them to me in, but... And there we go. I don't know why that XP was not a lot. It was only like 10,000 for the hards, which most of them are 15k. Oh well, anyways, there we go. And now, I don't know what we're going to do. I think we're going to finish the Lumbridge Hard Diaries, so. Alright, we sold all our Chaos Runes, and now we can buy the Onyx. There we go. Time to try to boost for the Fury. Alright, I got the boost on the first try. There's the Onyx Amulet, Ball of Wool. Oh, that feels so good. Such a long grind. Now I have to boost for the magic level, though. All right, I don't think I recorded a clip for it. It was really late, and I was really tired, but we did end up getting the Amulet of Fury for the boost, so there it is. The huge grind that was ahead of us is over now. All right, if we talk to this gentleman, there we go. Well, this took a lot longer than I anticipated it to be. It is officially 5.30 in the morning, longest I've stayed up in quite a while just to play some RuneScape. Since I'm going to be starting the Slayer grind, I decided to make up some cannonballs so I can actually do Dagonoth tasks. So, got a smithing level from just some cannonballs. Um, kind of unexpected, these don't really give much XP, so... Um, a level there is always nice. Smithing is my least favorite skill on the Iron Man so far. I'd rather do my whole entire crafting grind than get all the way to 70 smithing again because buying the gold or shops and world hopping, it's it's just terrible to do. So, um, very welcome. All right, Calphite Queen sucks. So we just finished it off with the smaller Calphites. This is where I'm going to be ending this episode, guys. Um, we finished all the goals. We got the fear. We did the diaries. We did everything we needed to do. So this next episode is going to be focusing pretty much entirely on Slayer. I got bracelets made. I got cannonballs made. I'm all ready to go. I'm going to aim for 85 to get a whip. It's going to be a tough grind. It's going to be a long grind. I have two videos stored up. So the next time you'll be seeing this next video is going to be in about two weeks, maybe a little bit longer. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm not going to get the task right now. I'm going to save that for next episode. So I will see you guys then. And I will see you in my next video.